So hello everyone, I'm Miroslav Stelik, the creator of SVG Importer and uh, I was lately quite busy to making new uh, features and mostly fixing the importer itself. The most important thing or most interesting thing right now is that when you import any graphics in your scene or in your project you had this uh, property to customize your pivot point but now it is possible to customize the pivot point with this editor so I can uh, drag around this pivot point and the reason why the pivot point right now is snapping is because it set to snap to the predefined regions so when you want to use a, a custom pivot point you have to select the custom pivot point and then you can freely uh, choose whatever point you want in space. So for example, I want to snap at this point with really high precision. So I just have to zoom to that point. As you can see, I'm able to quite precisely say that I want this point here. And when I hit uh, apply, it will propagate to all files. And as you can see right now, the pivot point is uh, in at this point, which is a quite important feature. Mostly when you want to animate something, uh, you want to change the pivot points of your arms and uh, head and everything so your structure will uh, behave uh, in specific uh, manner and also the second feature is that i uh, completed the editor for line slicing so this region shows how the uh, SCG will be sliced. Uh, right now, I didn't have implemented the slicing itself for uh, SCG image and SCG renderer, but the editor itself is uh, right now capable to prepare these slices. So I hope that in the next update oh, we will be we will have of course working not only the editor but also the uh, line slicing itself. So that's uh, I think a really good uh, update. And the second thing which I want to show, which is I think personally more important is that a CG importer will support more and more standards by the SCG specification and uh, one of these standards right now are symbols so as you can see I have added the illustrator right here and I prepared some symbol right here which is easy just create some some graphics in the illustrator and uh, you can actually create a symbol from it which uh, can be with this new symbol and to name it uh, rectangle and as you can see, we have created a symbol which uh, behaves 
like uh, flash movie clips or something like, like that if you are if you know how they work community symbols work similarly like platforms so the point of using symbols is that the uh, predefined graphic which you can drag and drop in your uh, in your illustrator document and this uh, greatly uh, improves the workflow for the designer of course but uh, the main advantage of using symbols is when you change the original symbol like if I delete this now it changed everywhere so uh, this is really just to help designers to get things uh, much easier and faster done so uh, symbols in SVGRs in the standard specification are supported but in the latest uh, SVG importer, they were not supported. But in the update, which I'm working on, they will be supported. And uh, just for some who don't know how to export SVG files, you have to uh, select the SVG wine or wine profile and convert all fonts to outlines and uh, the CSS property you can use presentation attribute so as I saved this document I will import it as you can see it looks well exactly as the original and uh, these are our symbols yeah so even in the SVG if you look at the text itself uh, this has a great uh, impact on the file size of, of the SVG file size as well because you are using just uh, one instance or one specification for the symbol and then you instance it using these lines so it's much smaller uh, for the SVG file right now on the roadmap uh, the most important feature are clip paths because uh, many people are using clip parts uh, in their files which uh, is logical because it's uh, much easier uh, to use clip parts in any vector graphics program so that's uh, the main uh, main feature which i'm working on right now and I think that's all for now, so I hope that you like the update and if you like uh, these previous videos, please subscribe.